my beautiful loves. Today I'm going to be showing you how I groom my eyebrows because I get so many questions about this all the time on my videos, on my Instagram, like how do you sculpt your eyebrows like that, blah, 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 everything like that. And I do it all myself. Do not get them threaded because ain't nobody got time for that amount of pain. Like, oh no, this girl... I'm not good with cake. I used to go and get them waxed and pay to do that, but then I just felt like I could really do this myself. Like, why am I paying somebody else to do this? So I found a really easy regimen that I do at home to kind of keep my eyebrows in place and nice and shaped. And I do this maybe about every two weeks or so. Um, you guys will see exactly what I do in the video. But if you guys are interested in seeing how I shape my eyebrows at home, then please just keep watching. All right guys, so to groom my eyebrows at home, I only use two products. And the two products that I use are this NAD Facial One Eyebrow Shaper. This is like a little kit. You guys can get this at like any CVS. I think I got this one at Walmart. You can get it a bunch of places. Um, it's very readily available at most drugstores. It's awesome, I love it. It's just a wax. So I first will go through and wax my eyebrows. So I'll show you guys how I do that. And then I will go in and tweeze my eyebrows. I'll show you guys my tweezers. My tweezers are like my baby. I'm very, very picky when it comes to tweezers because Obviously, if I'm doing my eyebrows at home, I want them to be perfect, so I want, you know, really, really, really good tweezers. So literally, the only ones that I will use are these tweezers right here. I get these from tweezerworld.com, and they are their Apex Original Slant Tweezer, and these are amazing, amazing. These are the best tweezers that I've ever used, so I absolutely love them. They come in, like, this beautiful little pouch, too, like a little red leather pouch. It's like... Very fancy, very nice, but the tweezers are really why I buy them. These will pluck anything out of anywhere, like seriously. So after I wax my eyebrows, I go through and I tweeze them, and then obviously I'll use these tweezers like in between, because like I said, I really only do this about every three weeks or so with the full waxing and everything like that, but obviously I'm tweezing my eyebrows like every day. Okay, so first I'm gonna go ahead and pull all of my hair back off of my face, because you do not wanna get this wax in your hair, girl, it will be horrific. I did it once and it was really, really horrible. It took me forever to get it out. So I normally just grab one of these big wide headbands and get all of that hair back off my face so I can ensure that it's not gonna be getting into the wax and we're not gonna be getting all messy and stuff. Then you're just gonna wanna go ahead and remove any of the makeup around the area that you are going to be waxing. I'm just gonna use one of my own little makeup wipes, but a makeup little cleanser wipe does come in the kit as well if you guys don't have your own makeup wipes, but this one is just from Neutrogena and I had it readily available, so I'm just gonna use my own. I'm gonna take off any eyebrow makeup or makeup like foundation and stuff around the eyebrows. So as you guys can see, my eyebrows are really, really light. Um, but hopefully, you know, you guys will still be able to see where I'm waxing because they're still there. Like you can still see them, but they're just very light. Obviously, I make them a lot darker. Um, with makeup, do I look so weird? Like <laughs> with a full face of makeup, no eyebrows. That's really scary. So yeah, just taking off any of that makeup in that area to make sure that it's just nice and cleansed. This is not hot wax, um, which is why I like it because I've tried hot waxes before and you know, like having the burner and everything at home and like that's just such a process. This is so much easier. It does not have to be hot. It'll save you so much time and it works the same, but you have to take your makeup off with this because I've tried it before when I still had makeup on, just like how you normally would get your eyebrows waxed like anywhere. It doesn't really matter if you have makeup on or not and it doesn't work if you have makeup on. Like your skin needs to be clean for this stuff to work. Okay, so now that I look absolutely crazy and I took all of the makeup off of my eyebrow area, I'm just gonna run a spoolie through them real quick and just brush them all up because I'm going to be waxing the underneath part of my eyebrow. I actually do not wax the top of my eyebrow at all. You guys will see um, a little bit further in, but yeah, I only do the bottom because that just works for me. I never really get like a lot of like hair or anything up there. It's like not an issue for me, which is nice. Then I'm just gonna take my wax pen and I'm gonna just click it. You know, this works like any other pen um, product would. A little product will come out and I'm just going to apply this underneath and kind of shape out how I want my brow to be. So I like a much higher arch, so I bring this up pretty high and then back. I never really do down here all that much because I never really need to. It doesn't really grow down there that much, but hopefully you guys are still getting the gist of it. So I just apply the wax like that and then just using one of these little sheets, this also comes in the kit, I'm going to apply this like that and you want to press it down in the opposite direction that your hair grows. So I'm pulling it this way, like away from my face. You want to just push it down, like I do this like maybe 10 times, just go on, make sure that it's really, really on there, good. 
and then you're gonna hold your skin steady and then pull it the opposite way. And then we pulled off any of that unwanted hair. Really, really simple, really, really easy. It doesn't hurt at all. I just literally love this stuff. It's amazing. You don't have to make it hot. Just rips your hair off. Then I normally will go ahead and just do a little bit in the center as well because we don't want no unibrow. So just kind of clean that up anywhere that I think I may need it. So now that this eyebrow is done, I'm going to go ahead and do this eyebrow because obviously we want our eyebrows to be even, so I'm literally just going to go and do the exact same thing on this side. Alright, so now we are wax free and the only thing that I do sometimes have to do on this top part of my eyebrows is right here in the beginning my brows can tend to get like a little long. So I'm just going to go back in with that spoolie and brush all of my hair in the front here up again. And then I'm just going to use any straight edge little nail clipper and I'm just going to go in and clip the top so that it's straight and they're all even. And just kind of cut them down a little bit. And I find this really helps to make the brows look super groomed and put together. And then last but not least, the star of the show, my favorite tweezers, where you're going to go in and tweeze anything that we did not get when we were waxing. Because the things that I found about the NADS wax strips is that they do really, really good at getting like bigger hairs, but sometimes they will leave behind like some of those little smaller, harder to get hairs. So that's where these guys will come in. Like I said, they will literally get rid of anything. So I'm just going to go in, especially like underneath here. I don't really do any tweezing up here, but right underneath the arch here, I have like little baby hairs that a lot of times the NADS wax strips do not get. So these will go ahead and really just get those little tiny hairs out and make it really, really super precise. So I'm just going to go in with these underneath here and just get anything that the NADS wax strips did not get. So yeah, that is how I groom my eyebrows from home. I look totally crazy now that I have like nothing up there and it's just like blank white nothingness. I feel like this would have been a lot more interesting if my eyebrows were actually dark and you guys could like actually see better. So I'm sorry, don't hate me for having like clear translucent eyebrows. So many of you guys did ask for this video so I figured that I would film it for you and I hope this did help you guys. So yeah, if it did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I'll have all the products that I use and everything like that linked down below and any coupon code if I have them. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.